Today we're going to talk about transporting your koi. Today's question comes from one of our loyal, loyal YouTube fans, Sissy Murphy. She made a fantastic suggestion. She said, why don't you cover the topic about transporting your koi? Like if you move, you buy a new house, you want to take your fish with you. And uh, I think it's a great question. And uh, thank you very much for that, Sissy. Let me dive right into that. Uh, when you have koi fish, moving them when you move is, is pretty common actually because um, you know, koi can live a long time and, and that people are moving at a faster pace than their koi, you know, than the koi are living longer than that. So I'll tell you, I have clients that have moved from New York to Southern California and brought their fish with them. So I'm not going to go into that great a detail because everyone knows, of course, we're bringing fish from Japan and so they're transporting them in that fashion. But we took some of those steps to get the fish from New York to Southern California, but I want to give you some simple tips and tricks on what you need to do when you're just moving across town or maybe a couple of cities over. Um, so when you want to relocate the fish, first and foremost, you have to have a pond set up on the other side, right? And um, if it's a brand new pond, you're gonna have to keep real close uh, eye on the water quality because of course, you know, if uh, the fish is balanced in a pond right now and you have a brand new pond, you're going to go through the nitrogen cycle again. And some people forget that. So you're going to have to watch it real closely. Um, when you transport them, what we do is I actually have this big square tub. It's probably a 300 gallon tub. And we put it in the back of the truck and I only put around 70 gallons of water in it. And then, I, then I'll put those fish in there. So a lot of people will use, you know, big storage totes. If you have big fish, you might need to use many different storage totes. And uh, of course, we want to get them into the back of a truck most of the time. So if the water sloshes around a little bit, you're not getting the interior of a van or something wet like that. So um, having that vessel to move them in is really important. And it's mandatory that these fish have aeration during this transport. Now, when you're bringing them from Japan or New York in a long distance, they inject oxygen into the bag and then they put them in there. But I'm talking about just getting a vessel, something simple, something quick, you with a lid on there so the fish don't jump out. And you don't want a lot of water in that vessel. If the fish is only this tall, you want just about that much water in it. If you put too much water in, then they're gonna try and jump. So give them just a little bit of water without exposing their back. And uh, that's, that's one of the uh, tips I wanna give you. But you wanna put air uh, injected into there. So you can get an inverter that you can plug into your car, just like a battery charger, and you can grab a normal air pump that hopefully you have on your pond already, and then you can drop an air stone in, in the vessel that you're moving the koi in, or in each different vat if that's what you're doing. The time of the day that you do this move, I think is very important. In Southern California, we're basically the desert. Uh, today it's over 100 outside, it's just blistering. You're not gonna wanna do this in the middle of the day. You're gonna wanna pick a time early in the morning or late in the afternoon. And seasonally, if you can make that choice to go into the fall or the spring during the move is a whole lot better than the middle of summer. But if you do have to do it in the middle of summer, I want you to pick a morning or at night and get it done, okay? We don't want them to get uh, overheated in there because that's a really critical factor. I want you to fast the fish before the move for a couple of reasons. Uh, they're established pond, and what I mean fast, you're gonna stop feeding them for three, four, five days even. You don't feed them at all, and I know you're freaking out right now, but they'll graze on the algae, they're gonna be fine, but we don't want their belly loaded with you know, a good quality, you know, high protein food, because when you take them out of that uh, balanced pond, you put them in this vessel, what's gonna happen is they're gonna to go to the bathroom, they're gonna they're going to contaminate the water that they're in, and it makes it really hard on them. And also, if, you have, if you're going into a brand new pond, you want to make sure you're not too, putting too much of a load on that pond when you're going through the nitrogen cycle. So it's really important to do that fast, and a lot of people have a hard time doing it. But trust me, it's the best thing that you can do for the fish on that. And uh, we can talk a little bit about acclimizing because the water where they're coming from and the water where they're going to, you know, the pH should be similar, the temperature should be similar. 
uh, if you have, you know, all those factors you have to weigh in as well. But um, I'm hoping that I'm talking to some experienced hobbyists. If you've had your koi long enough and now you want to move them to your new house, then you're kind of understanding the water quality there. But the main important thing is you want to make sure you aerate, use the inverter in your pond, uh, in, in your truck and you use the aerator to aerate each tub. The time of the day is critical and fasting the koi before you do it. And of course you wanna acclimize them. I'm gonna to get to the question of the day. I wanna know how many of our viewers have moved their fish from one home to their next home. And put that uh, your, your answers down in the comments. And if you have any interesting stories about you know how it happened or what you did, we would love to hear your feedback. That's it for the show today. Thanks for the question, Sissy Murphy. We'll talk to you again real soon. Thank <laughs> you.